Go ahead. Hi, everybody. Welcome on into Facebook Live here. Christy Copanis, Tyler Paley here on uh, what we wish were a, a happier note. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm sure many of you, if not all of you, have heard the devastating news today that uh, Kobe Bryant, among those dead in a helicopter crash uh, out near the Los Angeles area today, uh, we're, we're hearing that at least four people have died, mm -hmm. no survivors. Um, heartbreak just I, I, there yeah. are, there's not many words for this it's one of those that like it shocks the sports world but then it shocks everybody it's not just reserved for the sports nope. world someone of his caliber i mean you talk about kobe bryant like that is like we use the term the goat greatest of all time yep. that's what we do when we describe kobe it, the amount of this award that award everything that he's won and someone like that is still untouchable like not untouchable it was one of those we were talking before we started this it's like where were you when you heard the news that kobe bryant died it's I, that big i was getting ready to come to work and troy gingrich our uh, sports photographer texted me and said kobe bryant died and like you, I froze. I froze. And I was like, wait, what? No, that's got to be a lie. I, I texted him. I said, that's got to be a lie. Immediately went on Twitter and saw it. And I just froze. Yeah. And you said you had As something very I. similar. Yeah. I got a text from my brother saying that. And at first I was like, okay, you know, he's just seeing something on Twitter. You know how it goes these days. And yeah. sure enough, I go on and, and it seemed true. And here we are now. It's heartbreaking. I mean, yeah. and you, you went into a little bit on, on the court. Um, obviously, such a talented basketball yes. player. Top five players, let's say, all yeah. time. Uh, but intangibly, like his, his leadership skills, his yeah. passion, it's just – that was the player I watched growing up. Yeah, and, it didn't matter if you were a Lakers fan or not. It was didn't matter. You everybody watched Kobe. It didn't yeah. matter who you were a fan of when your team was playing Kobe. It was like wow. Kobe. Yeah, I mean he was the player to watch yeah. in, in sports in general, and and like you said, even outside of the sports yes. world, he was a major figure, a major pop culture figure of our generation. Yeah. It's one of those things where you you wait for the the tweet to say no, this isn't true. You wait for him to say this this isn't real. It's fake news, as everybody says, uh, and unfortunately, it's not. And him and now there's reports that his daughter Gigi was also on yeah. that helicopter. She's 13 years old, and it's it's one of those things where unfortunately, like everyone will say oh, Kobe Bryant died in a helicopter crash. And there's four other people that probably won't have their name shared. Gigi probably will now too, but it's it's shocking. It's definitely shocking. I know that I went on Twitter and the disbelief, the shock, the hoping it wasn't true was rampant. Um, so definitely some tough news. They were on their way to a basketball yeah. camp, of all things. Yeah, and of all things. The plane went down. We will, of course, have much more tonight on um, our 6, 6.30 newscast on what happened, yeah. scene video. Uh, but this is definitely shocking. It's shocking in the sports world, and it's shocking in general. Uh, you, so, yeah. You know, this comes the, just one day after he surpassed, or, or LeBron James surpassed yes. him in total points in a career. Um, and that is, you know, not, not that it wasn't inevitable, right? Yeah. But it just kind of shows, like, this guy made such an impact in his career that still LeBron James, who many consider to be the best of yes. all time, is still passing him in yes. records. Yes, and it was really eerie to think LeBron had wrote something on his shoe. Mamba for life. Mamba for life. And then after the game, people asked LeBron uh, what Kobe had meant to him. And who would have thought less than 24 hours later we would – be I, where we're at. I have this tweet here from Kobe. It was last night at, at 1030 here local time last night, continuing to move the game forward at King James. Much respect, my brother. That was 12 hours, 12, yeah. like 15 hours before this. Yeah. And I, again, it just shows Kobe, 41 years old, 41. And uh, a, father, a, a father, husband. a husband. Yeah, a legend. It's... So much to live for. I mean, look, tragedy strikes. Yeah. Uh, never a good time by any means, but this, this one hurts. This one hurts. It definitely hurts. Uh, it's one of those things where you think, when you think of a professional athlete, you think the best of the best. You put them up on a pedestal. Yeah. But then something like this happens and you realize it doesn't matter what you've done in life. It doesn't matter who you are, how much money you make. Stuff like this happens to anybody yeah. and everybody. Anybody, anytime, anywhere. Yeah. It's, it's it definitely with, tough. With his daughter flying to a basketball tournament. Yeah, full disclosure, I'm not going to lie. I was When I heard the news, I was pretty emotional. It's uh, it's a big deal, and it's... That it's it stings. He shaped the NBA. Absolutely. I mean, think about what the NBA would be like if Kobe hadn't done what he did 
and then everybody that's come up behind him. Yeah. I mean, obviously there was people before him, but. And he, he always just had that winning attitude, much yeah. to the displeasure of some yeah, at times. Yeah. Uh, but he just, he always was a competitor, mm -hmm. always was a winner. Um, what what were we talking about? Something like twelve NBA Finals MVPs. Yes, there was a surprisingly stat list. surprisingly only one actual league MVP mm -hmm. back in two thousand seven two thousand eight. Um, I believe that was the season that they ended up losing to the yes. Celtics, if I'm not mistaken. But just just crazy. I mean, the stat line goes on for him. He, clearly, he was in the in the top echelon of players as far as points. Yes, I everything. Mean, everything. So Kobe yeah. Bryant. Just. Uh, while we, I mean, we're going to have more on this tonight, but drop your thoughts, you know, if yeah. you were a Lakers fan, what you thought, if you weren't a Lakers fan, what you thought, and, and when the news official, officially came out, where were you, what did you think, and uh, what was your reaction, because I know a lot of people, uh, I mean, this is definitely a big topic, it'll be a topic for today, tomorrow, days to come. Yeah, days and weeks um, to come. So, just what your thoughts are, and... Yeah, send, send us over your thoughts. We'll actually be featuring some of them uh, on our newscast tonight at uh, uh, roughly 6.30. Obviously, golf going on right now, but once golf is over, we'll be on the air. Uh, if you don't catch us then, we'll be back tonight at 11, so we certainly hope you join us uh, to get your week started and, of course, to, to recap these horrific events. Yeah, and we'll have much more on uh, the people that were involved. Obviously, his daughter, uh, Gigi, was on that helicopter as well. We'll have much more on the, the accident um, coming up tonight. Yeah, so continue to send us your thoughts. Meanwhile, uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Have a, a safe and happy Sunday.